Welcome to part three of a four part video on how to find cash funds for your down payment to purchase real estate. In today's video, we're gonna strategize different ways and how to tap into your equity. Now, this would apply for those who actually own property. Stay tuned. property but you want to upgrade into something bigger but you don't currently have the cash funds to do so if you have enough equity within your current property that you own there are different ways that you could tap into that equity for the cash funds to make a second purchase you have refinancing home equity loan and a HELOC let's review the first option refinancing When you refinance, you're getting a new mortgage and replacing it with the old one. By doing so, you're able to borrow more money than your own mortgage, which is called cash out refinancing. Keep in mind, when refinancing, your interest rate will change, which may be higher or lower than your old mortgage. And there are refinancing fees. Typically, they cost 3 to 6% of your outstanding principal balance. Home equity loans. loan allows you to tap into some of your home's equity for cash, which you would receive in a form of a lump sum payment that you pay back at a fixed interest rate over an agreed period of time. This is typically between 5 to 20 years, although some lenders offer 30 years. Home equity loans are commonly known as second liens or second mortgages and act just as that. They finance a portion of the total value of the home with the property acting as collateral. HELOCs, what is HELOCs? HELOCs is a line of credit against your equity. So just like a loan or a credit card, you do need to pay it back and there's interest rates. One thing to keep in mind, there's two phases when taking on HELOC. You have the draw phase and you have the repayment phase. During the draw phase, you only have to make payments on the interest on the money you've borrowed at that time, which is usually five, 10 years. During the repayment phase, you're no longer allowed to borrow against your HELOC. Instead, you're required to pay back what you borrowed and all the interest. Now keep in mind, usually HELOCs are best for reconstructions or um, upgrading your property. Not so much down payment, but it provides you another option to take out cash from your equity. The 10 tier is to find creative ways to make your real estate dreams achievable. Let's chat and see how we can get your financials in line to reach your real estate goals. Book a free consultation with me with the link below. If you feel this video was valuable, subscribe, follow, like, all the good stuff. Thanks for watching. Jennifer Peel, keeping real estate appealing. Jennifer Peel, keeping real estate appealing. Achieving your goals through creative, aggressive, and innovative strategies.